Okay, so we're talking tips for bloggers, and I guess my biggest tip is to be as useful as you possibly can. Uh, if you're solving problems for someone, uh, if you are enhancing their life in some way, then you're being useful, and people will want to keep coming back to your blog, uh, and they'll also be passing it on to their own networks, and that's really what you want to be uh, producing. That, that kind of content that someone wants to share, that's the first thing that they want to do after they read it, is, hey, I know someone who needs to read that. that. That's probably the biggest tip. Um, that producing that kind of content by itself, though, isn't um, enough. You need to also be putting yourself out there and promoting uh, that particular content. So ask um, yourself, you know, who do I want to reach, what type of reader, and where are they gathering online? And then you can begin to participate in those types of spaces as well. Um, the third thing is interact with your audience as much as you can. So even from the early days when you don't have many readers, ask questions, um, start debates, engage with people. Uh, if you've got readers who have their own blogs, highlight those blogs on your own site so that um, you, you're kind of making your readers famous a little bit. Um, another tip I give is to capture people's details as much as possible. Um, don't just let them subscribe via an RSS feed. Try and get their email address to produce extra content for them. Because if you've got that type of content, uh, that, that kind of list of, of details of people, you can then email them updates, drive traffic to your site, sell products to them if you, if you develop products later. So uh, you really want to build a list of, of people in that way. Um, oh, there's so many other things I could say. Uh, you really want to um, be, be looking at the style that you're writing in and experiment with different voices. So um, I personally write most of mine in the first person and in a fairly personal tone. But other bloggers write a little bit more technical or they uh, write with humour uh, or they use video. So if you're experimenting with that sort of different ways of saying things, you'll find that the readers, your readers, will respond well to some but not others. And, and that then evolves into your style and your voice. And once you've found your voice and you're comfortable with it, that's when I find readers start to really click and connect with you. So I hope there's some good tips for you. Thanks, Joe.